So gratefulness was you needed to take time for all the people in your life, all the things that's going on in your life. And remember that sometimes the struggles that we're having are not negative struggles. Those struggles could be here to teach us something. And I've went through some struggles and I'm preaching to my own self at this point because some of my struggles that I've occurred in my life, um, some of them, I just made a decision that I was going to be the victor and not the victim. And so sometimes when we're looking at our life and we're ungrateful for the things that we're going through, we have to change our mindset. I'm grateful that this has occurred, even though it was painful to me, because now I'm the victor and I've overcome an obstacle instead of I'm the victim and woe is me. I, I work very hard to make sure I don't go into the woe is me category. And I think if you make that one of your lessons to yourself that you're not going to be a woe is me, you're going to see that gratefulness comes to you much easier. Start to be grateful for your job and for your family members and for your friends, for the vehicle you're driving, no matter what condition it is in, for the clothing that you're wearing, no matter if it is designer or if it's not designer. Be grateful because when you start to be grateful for the things that you have, you will see that your life will flourish. And on last week, what we brought up was a saying that Oprah Winfrey had that impacted me about five years ago or six now, um, where she said that, you know, people that always complain about they what they don't have will always not have. But people that focus on what in gratefulness, they will always get more and more because the gratefulness it means your heart is open to receiving. 